We've got some breaking NFL news to get to here as Adam Schefter is reporting that the Bengals three-time Pro Bowler defensive end Trey Hendrickson has requested to be traded from Cincinnati. Hendrickson is due to make $15 million this season and is looking for more long-term security than Cincinnati has been willing to offer. And to add on to that, T. Higgins has also been requesting a trade. So we're going to talk about whether or not Atlanta could trade for one of these two players, which one would make more sense, and whether or not Terry Fontenot can get a deal done before the clock strikes midnight. But let's at least look at, actually, look at the Falcons' 2024 draft picks here as the Atlanta Falcons have a first and their second and a couple of thirds to work with. And I could see Atlanta definitely having some interest in a guy like Trey Hendrickson because they have swung and missed on a handful of pass rushers. Montez Sweat, uh, they were looking to get at the trade deadline last year. Ultimately, he went to the Bears. Reports were that they didn't get Kirk Cousins. They were going to go a full-court press for Daniil Hunter or Christian Wilkins. So they have shown an interest in getting pass rushers. They just haven't been able to land one. Trey Hendrickson may be the saving grace for them. He's one of the best pass rushers in football the last few years. I know he's not a household name, but he kind of should be. 17 and a half sacks last year for the Bengals, coming off an eight-sack season before that and 14-sack season prior to that. Now, he's looking for a new contract, but I think Atlanta would be okay with giving out a big contract because they've been trying to do it with other players. They just haven't been able to either get the deal done or have the space in free agency with Daniil Hunter. So I believe that Atlanta should express interest in Trey Hendrickson. The question then just becomes, how much do you want to give up for him? Now, would you trade for Trey Hendrickson? Give me a yes or give me a no. While you're answering the question, let's go back to the 2024 draft picks Atlanta has. Because I think a good way to answer this question is, what would a trade look like? I think you can go a handful of directions. What if it's Atlanta and the Bengals swap 8 for 18 and the Falcons get Trey Hendrickson? What if it's Atlanta just gives up one of their second or third round picks for Hendrickson straight up? Or what if, and this one would have some limitations due to financial reasons, you made it a three-way, and you got T. Higgins involved as well. And you had T. Higgins, Trey Hendrickson, and the Falcons all involved in a trade. And this one's definitely reaching for the stars here. But you have T. Higgins, Hendrickson, come to the Falcons, and Atlanta gives Cincinnati pick number eight, pick 43, and Cincinnati tosses in a third-rounder to get the deal done. Could you imagine? Just the Atlanta Bengals. You've already got Jesse Bates down there. He can show him places to live. T. Higgins, Hendrickson. Like you'd have to pay both these guys. They both are looking for contract extensions. That would be the greatest hurdle to get past. I think it'd be even tougher than the actual draft capital required to acquire these two players. But that would be a lot of fun. It's probably a little bit of fan fiction, but I think we can all agree getting T. Higgins and Trey Hendrickson. I would sign up for that over Dallas Turner and pick 43. Would you? Now, Carson, as we're live here on Falcons today, is in our chat section saying, trade for Trey Hendrickson. He requested a trade now. And Carson with a great point that Terry Fontenot, who used to be with New Orleans Saints, was a part of the regime that drafted Hendrickson out of Florida Atlantic. And Hendrickson has been one of the best pass rushers in the game the last three, four seasons. He is third in sacks ahead of Hassan Reddick and Nick Bosa since 2020. If this graphic looks familiar to you, it's because we used it a lot when talking about trading for Hassan Reddick. Little did we know the hotter girl would be available in Trey Hendrickson. And if for everyone watching that wants Atlanta to draft Jared Verse, I remember doing a player comp video for Atlanta's top draft targets. And for Jared Verse, I gave Trey Hendrickson. Now, it's not a perfect comp, but they have a lot of physical similarities, and they've got a lot of similar tendencies in their tenaciousness, their effort to overcome maybe not being the best athlete on the field, and their willingness to support and stop the run. So I think Trey Hendrickson would be a fantastic trade for the Atlanta Falcons, whether it's a round two pick or a round three pick. If Hendrickson went in this draft, ask yourself this question. Would you get a better player at that same position at pick 43? 
The answer is no. I'll answer that question for you. So go get him and have a surefire pass rusher and not put all your eggs in the rookie basket for 2024. Now, quick reminder, we will be live here on the channel for round one of the NFL Draft. So drop an ATL in the comment section below if you'll be hanging out with us. Uh, I want to run through some other live comments as we are filming this during our live edition of Falcons today. MD879 and next year's second for Vikings 11 and 23. Pick up Terry on Arnold and Leatulatu. And then Falcons trade 43 for Hendrickson. A lot of moving pieces. I don't think the Vikings would do that. I think if they're making a trade with 11 and 23, it's to get a quarterback. So unless J.J. McCarthy is there at 8, that to me seems unlikely. But at 43 for Hendrickson straight up, I'm in. No questions asked. Um, MD, appreciate your question. Um, let's see. Green Cat adding a little bit of context that Trey Hendrickson, who has two years left on his contract, 2024, and 2025 is looking for more long-term deals uh, years added to it. The issue is he's on the worst possible team to make this request. The Bengals are broke. Not actually, but they are the poorest owners, okay? They don't have a business. Arthur Blank has Home Depot. He's got other ventures. There is no Home Depot for the Brown family in Cincinnati. Their business is the Bengals. And it's, sure, an NFL team, they're going to get a lot of money, but they don't get a ton of cash. And when you think about contracts, just going to throw out like arbitrary numbers, $200 million contract with $100 million guaranteed. If you put $100 million guaranteed into a contract, you have to have, I believe the percentage is 75 to 80% set aside of that $100 million. Because who's to say if you went out of business the very next day, you would be able to fulfill that $100 million guaranteed. There are some NFL owners that can get that type of cash ready. The Bengals can't. I think you'd have 75 or 80% within the year of giving out the contract. So it's not on the, day, on the moment, but over the next year, you have to put aside that much cash. I don't think the Bengals can do that for Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Hendrickson, and T. Higgins. So is Atlanta willing to pony up? Arthur Blank is one of the richest owners. I'd hope if he's serious about wanting to see a Super Bowl parade in Atlanta as he's on the wrong, well, that's mean, as he is 80 plus years old and dealing with medical incidents like he couldn't attend Kirk Cousins' introductory press conference because of it, he should go all in right now for Trey Hendrickson. Uh, another question coming in, is it possible for the Falcons to double dip edge rusher once again? If Atlanta can get Hendrickson without giving up pick number eight, I am not opposed to going Dallas Turner and Hendrickson. It definitely gives you more flexibility that if you picked, if, if Terry Fontenot or Raheem Morris were picking Dallas Turner mostly because of positional need versus where he's on their board, this allows you to go get a guy that maybe they're in love with, like a Quinion Mitchell, a Terry on Arnold, a Roma Dunze. But if they still like Dallas Turner a lot, and it's not even so much about the need, but because he's super high up on their big board, who says no to a pass rushing unit of Turner and Hendrickson, Arnold Ebikati? Like, that's a really good way to correct the biggest positional issue with this franchise's history. ATL fan, pick swap for Hendrickson, then draft Arnold or Cooper DeGene. I would prefer Terry on Arnold, but like I was just saying, this gives you the flexibility that if you are in love with Arnold, but you just think you have to go edge because you don't have another edge, you can now go get the guy maybe you deep down wanted to draft this whole time. So trading for Hendrickson, if you can hold on to pick number eight, which I think you would be able to, maybe it's like an eight for 18 swap and Hendrickson goes to Atlanta. You can get creative in what it would cost to get him. But to me, that would be a great trade for Atlanta to acquire Hendrickson. All right, that will do it for us on today's show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate everyone hanging out with us right before we get into the NFL Draft. So make sure to come back and watch our content here for round one of the NFL Draft.